We're used to seeing the thousands of stars in the night sky twinkling as small points, each point generally looking the same. We're used to seeing certain constellations being there and rely on them having always been there since the existence of the human species. However, there are many types of stars, each one with very different characteristics and each with a finite life. Stars are continuously being born and are continuously dying. They each have a life they live with a start and an end. Stars are born from gas and dust, mainly made up of hydrogen atoms with some helium atoms. This gas is dispersed thinly over space, but in some regions atoms lie closer together. Each atom is gravitationally attracted to each other and so is pulled even closer together, creating an even denser region. This attracts more and more atoms. Eventually, it may form a large cold cloud which becomes spherical in shape over 10,000 years. As the atoms get closer together, their gravitational potential energy decreases and their kinetic energy increases, which makes the temperature of the gas increase. When the temperature is large enough, the gas will begin to glow very weakly. At this point, the ball of gas is called a protostar. If the ball of gas does not have enough mass because not enough atoms have been collected, then it will remain in this form for the rest of its life, only glowing dimly. Some astronomers call this a brown dwarf. The centre of the ball of gas will be the densest and hottest region. If the temperature reaches about 15 million degrees Celsius, the pressure becomes very high. In these conditions, the hydrogen atoms are stripped of any electrons and have enough energy to overcome their electrostatic repulsion and be brought close enough together with such a force that they start fusing together. At this point, the true life of the star begins. A star is born when it can start joining hydrogen nuclei together in a process called nuclear fusion. People refer to this as hydrogen burning, but it isn't burning as we know it.